I mean, there was going to be lights and like little fireworks. And my mom was like, Brittany, are you really sure that that's something that Maribel will like? You know, she's a little more reserved. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel so we are going to talk about how I ended up planning a movie theater proposal um, I'm gonna do kind of like a background story of Maribel and I and then we're gonna lead up to that um, as many of you know Maribel and I have been together for almost 11 years now um, I was younger she was younger we met in trade school this led to this to this that whole shebang um so after a while like you know like once maribel and i moved in together we you know got more sustained in our relationship and after a while i was just like you know why do i have to wait for her it's okay that i'm the girly girl and i'm going to propose so i literally pulled out my handy dandy notebook and I hopped on good on YouTube and I looked through, I don't know how many proposals, like different themes of proposals, fireworks, pool, um, mob, theater. I mean, just all kinds of things. And I want to feel like the one mistake that I did make when I was thinking about planning a proposal is I was thinking about what I would like. So Maribel actually doesn't know this story, but when I first thought and started writing down ideas of proposing, I was gonna do kind of like a lights type firework thing. And I got in touch with this company, which this was so long ago. So I'm gonna see if I can look through my phone and see if I can find the name of the company. But um, we, I was going to do a like little light show. Um, in our little town, there is this little bulletin board that um, that like like lets you put like little sayings on it, and there's like a little sidewalk where you can walk it. And as we were walking that little sidewalk, we were gonna have like lights, have like a little like fireworks in the background. Like I mean, I was gonna do the whole shebang. Like it was about to cost me. I believe she said after everything was said and done, and I was actually about to set a payment arrangement up and everything. Um, it was going to be about 2000 because it was the lights, it was the fireworks, it was, I was going to have it go to um, like a beat of a song, which was Bruno Mars, Just The Way You Are, um, which the whole thing was just more of like what I would like. And when I started talking to my mom, about like the whole proposal thing she like kind of stopped me and she was like you know are you sure that that's something that maribel would like if you guys know my wife maribel is very conservative she is very i don't want to say that she's antisocial, but she kind of is like she doesn't like a whole bunch of attention on her she's not very flashy she doesn't like the the whole all eyes on her and she's not really a gushy person. Please excuse my cat, y'all. Um, so she's not really like, like an over romantic person to where me, I am like probably the biggest gushiest person. Like I love like the flowers, the roses. I love everything. Like I love the whole shebang. Like I love all of that. So when I was talking to my mom about it, you know, she was like, I really think that you should take a step back and really rethink everything and maybe lean it towards more of what Maribel would like. And at first I was like, I think that she would love it. But then I was like, you know, okay. So I went back to that drawing board and I pulled out my notebook and then I got back on YouTube and I started finding all of these movie theater themed proposals. And back then, um, when I proposed to Maribel, I was not into filming. I had no idea how to work a camera. I wasn't good at pictures. I wasn't good at none of that. 
So some of these things that I was seeing, I mean, they were really, really cool. And I was like, okay, okay. Maribel loves movies. She, you know, I think that, that, that that'll really fit her. So the first thing I had to do was see not only if our movie theater would be okay doing a proposal there, but we're also a same-sex couple. And for some weird reason, even though it was, it's been, people have been gay forever, I, we always like to make sure that wherever we're going, if we're doing something big or anything like that, are they okay with it being a same-sex couple? So I called and I spoke with the manager and she was just God sent. She was absolutely amazing. When um, I was talking to her, I as soon as I said, you know, I'm really, I'm wanting to do a proposal there. I need to know, you know, like how much it'll cost. And she's like, oh my goodness. Yes, y'all will be our first proposal here. Absolutely. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, subcategories. How much would y'all make me pay? And we're a same-sex couple. Then she went berserk. She was like, oh my God, that's perfect. Oh, you know what? Because y'all are y'all are all of our first little proposal, you're not going to have to pay nothing. You know, she was like, just, you know, when you're ready with the video, come up here. We'll make sure it looks good on the big screen. We'll plan everything. Me and you will, you know, sit down and talk more. And we'll also get the person who is in charge of like the movies and the films and everything. We'll get him up here and we'll make sure that everything is perfect. I got you. So I once I talked to her, I was just, I was like, okay, this is perfect. So I spoke with a friend of mine, Carmen, which I was mentioned in my other video. And I was like, you know, I, I don't know how to make a video. I'm like, I don't know if I should do a PowerPoint or a video. Like I, I did not know where to start. So I, um, I, like I said, I researched a whole bunch on YouTube with like how these people like did their proposals at the movie theater and how good their videos looked. And I wanted something that was just very classic. So what me and my friend did is we made a PowerPoint of like all of like Maribel and I's old pictures and we just kind of, you know, put things together with like little sayings at the bottom and it just it turned out perfect like if it wasn't for her i probably would not have ended up doing the movie theater proposal because it it was just so hard making sure that everything was pieced together and if i knew then what i knew now about filming and like how to piece things together how to photograph better and all that stuff it it would have been even better but everything was good. Like we, we had everything set up like it was supposed to. We um picked the perfect song, which was the Neo Best Thing I Never Knew I Needed. And it was just, it was perfect. So once all that was done and we got everything together, got everything sent over to my phone and put it, um, I viewed it one more time. We got it put on a computer onto a thumb drive. We took it up to the movie theater. And when we first played it, because you're going from something that is like so compact to something that's a little bit bigger, which is like a laptop, to something that's as big as a big screen, sometimes the transition isn't as smooth. And when you expand things, it got really, really fuzzy and big. So the first time that we went to go view it, it was... I mean, me personally, I didn't see the issue, but the guy was like, no, no, no. Like, like, he's like, this is really fuzzy. We're going to we're gonna have to change this format over to, I cannot even remember the format that he wanted us to, to switch it over to. But anywho, we got it over to a different format. We put it on there. We went back up to the movie theater and we played it and it was amazing. I I teared up. Like, it, 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 the music was perfect. The, the slides were smooth. Everything went perfect. So after everything went perfect and we got everything good to go, I kept that thumb drive up there. And he, um, I went up there probably two, you know, maybe three more times after that to make sure that everything was still good, nothing was corrupted. I, I everything just needed to be perfect. So um, after, you know, we made sure that everything was good, 
it was time to pick the day. It was time to pick the movie and all that good stuff. So after, um, my cat is so dramatic. So I had to do it Valentine's Day. Like, I know it is so cliche, but I had to do it Valentine's Day. So what I did is once I picked the day, I went and I looked to see what movies were playing. And I wanted to make sure that Maribel had absolutely no clue what was going to happen. So it so happened that a movie, How to Be Single, was coming out Valentine's Day. And she was not happy that we were going to go see that movie because it had all of my favorite act um, actresses in it. So she was like, okay, I guess we can watch that. It's fine. So we picked that movie, picked the day, and then we took it from there. So after all that was said and done, I talked to the manager again. We had everything set up. We got the movie times, got the tickets, got everything set up. And we were ready for the big day. And I have to say, it's, it, it took a while because I, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I had the right song. I had the right timing. I had everything good. And, I mean, like, it, it's a big deal. Like, you're proposing, so you don't want it to just be, like, whatever. And so to make sure that, you know, like everything was good and the people at my movie theaters in my town, they were absolutely amazing. And I wanted to make sure that my family was able to be there. I wanted to make sure that, you know, like everything just went smoothly, even though the day of was not as smooth. It's okay. We're, we're, we're past it. But, um, so it, it was, it was interesting. And I had to say like, you know, like thanks to YouTube and all that research, and thanks to my mom, because I would have spent a lot of money on something that maybe would have been maybe a little bit too much. So I have to say that definitely, you know, if you're the girly girl or whatever proposing, make sure that it's leaning towards what your spouse would like and not something that you would like because that was my issue. And like I said, I'm glad that my mom pointed that out because I would have maybe overwhelmed her and she would have been like uh this is too much like no 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 but anyway so that is how I planned my movie theater proposal and like I said I really wish that I was into filming as much as I am now because I would have you know had everything step by step of how I did it and everything but it's okay so, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just go ahead and comment below. And again, if you stumbled across this video because you are trying to propose to your wife, your girlfriend, or anything like that, comment below and let me know, you know, your thoughts or how everything went if you already did it. And like I said, if you are new, hit that subscribe. You're royalty now. Welcome to our castle. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.